Good morning. This is Deborah Cargo coming to you live from Valdosta, Georgia. On our so fast day is happy 40th day. Day we choose to fast our unloving issues. In what ways do we not love ourselves? What is an unloving issue? Well, an unloving issue is an evil thought that masquerades in us as us. An unloving issue contradicts what God says about you. And you always come up short and guilty. It tears down in you what God is trying to build up. An unloving issue is a lying and deceiving issue. It is full of hate, murder, and unforgiveness towards yourself. It is full of perfectionism, which causes you to be angry at yourself and depressed when you do not perform as well or look as perfect as you think you should. Unloving issues convince you to despise yourself and others. God is the only perfect one. And no others reach his perfection. The major root of an unloving issue is the lack of dis discipline. Self-control will put unloving issues in a rightful place and dislodge any unloving delusions. If a man say, I love God and hate his brother, he is a liar. He that loveth not his brother... <laughs> whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? First John 4, verse 20. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Mark 12, verse 30 through 31. If we say, have God, but allow such, if we say we have God, but allow such unloving issues to steal, kill, and destroy us, then we, we may want to consider our level of discipleship to Christ Jesus. We cannot say that we love God and not love ourselves. The reason we have not been able to love others like we have desired is because of undealt with unloving issues that declare our inability to receive his intimacy. God desires to heal us of our unloving afflictions that have disabled our destiny for far too long. We must love ourselves in this hour so that the love of the Father can penetrate and saturate our very being. True love towards ourselves is the greatest gift that God has for us because he first loved us. And now, abide faith, hope, love, these three, but the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13. We love him because he first loved us. 1 John 1, 4, verse 14. I pray on this 40 day of our soul path that you can realize the reason for all of these undealt with issues that have demanded your emotional attention. May you find peace with yourself this day and may you be delivered of all negative emotions that are contrary to what God's word says about you. You are loved by a Holy Father who wants you to experience more of his presence. With his intimacy, you will be able to overcome everything that has tried to overcome you. His love will unleash you from dysfunction and introduce you to your destiny. Stay on this path that you have found and stand firm on the road to holiness. Look for the ancient pathway of God's glory and walk in him and find rest for my, your soul, my friend. Thus says the Lord, stand by the roads and look and ask for the eternal path. 
where the good of the way is, then walk in it, and you will rest for yourself. Jeremiah 6, verse 16. Dear Heavenly Father, here's our prayer. I purpose and choose with my free will to repent for any unloving issue in my life that have left me longing to be loved. I forgive myself for not loving me the way that you love me. Lord, I also forgive myself for treating myself like my own enemy. I forgive everyone who taught me how to carry these unloving issues. Lord, forgive me for the ways in which I have been unloving to others who desire to love me, but I will not allow them to. Now that I have been set free from me, I pray that I may have another chance to experience intimacy with the people whom I have rejected. I cancel this unloving debt in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for allowing the Holy Spirit the opportunity to speak to you in the last 40 days. My prayer for you is that the glory of the Lord will rise upon you in this hour and set you free from every idle issue in your life. May every empty place in your individuality be filled to overflow with the presence of God. I decree and declare that your destiny come forth now in the name of Jesus, completing every itinerary of eternity. You deserve to be free from yourself and all others who have hindered your process. Just know that we at Rebecca King Ministries love you and believe that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. The sky is not a limit. It is on a platform for you to be on display. To God be all the glory. Rebecca L. King. Thank you for joining me on this 40-day uh, fast, so fast. And uh, I'll let you know what our next... We're still doing the uh, daily devotion. I just kind of got... Mixed up yesterday and read Sunday first and then read Saturday next. So I will see you tomorrow for our daily devotion. God bless you. No matter what you're going through, I know that you can stand. For your life is in. In his hands. Listen.
love you, Jesus. With him. With him I know I can stand. No matter what may come my way. No matter what may <laughs> come my way. Oh. My life is in your hands. Listen. So when the tests and trials. They seem to get you down. They seem to get you down. And all your friends and love. All your friends and lovers, they're nowhere to be found. Are nowhere to remember 